Hello and welcome back to this lecture series on signals and systems. So right now we are looking at digital signals. So we've looked at other topics under signals and um, signals and systems. So if you miss those parts, kindly check the playlist on signals and systems. You'll find the link to those videos. And if you are new here, please kindly take our time to click on that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. You see it somewhere at the lower right of your screen. If you are watching on mobile, if you are watching on PC, just uh, below the video you see the option to subscribe there so kindly click on that subscribe button all right so thank you very much if you have done that if you are yet to please please just click on that subscribe button right now all right thank you all right so now let's get started if you look at this question we are gradually now we have moved into digital signals exactly so this is a question on that digital signals it says given the following uh, given the following x of n equals to the rack n plus one plus 0 0.5 um, delta into bracket n minus 1 plus 2 delta n minus 2. So now the first thing, let's just analyze this question. If you look at it closely, you see that this is more like shifting operation. Uh, one of the basic operations of signal, we have time shifting, um, time reversal, and time scaling. So this is based on, based on time shifting. Because once you see what we're having here, is an indication that it is time shifting and then if you see this delta i mean this delta sign so it's also telling us something but we are more dwelling more we are dwelling more on the fact that it is a sh kind of like shifting um operation so what we are asked to do basically is to draw is to draw the sequence so for us to get started so this is how you are going to go about it now these values that we are having here are the amplitude of the signal itself exactly so now let's analyze other things that we have here for this particular one that we are having that's let me pick it one after the other so this is delta n plus one so so that means we are going to be shifting this signal to the left by one because we are having uh, plus one here and um, don't forget when we are dealing with um, shifting operation we are the that's going to be x of t minus t naught is that clear so what have happened here is we are having um, x of n minus n naught exactly instead of t they use n here and what happened there is we are going to have what they had actually was x to bracket n minus minus one exactly so i'm making reference to um Shifting operation. I've explained this under the video on shifting operation. I just want to go through it briefly, just to uh, just to refresh ourselves so that we don't get confused. So once you simplify this, you are going to be having x of n plus one. So you can see what we are having here is is this exactly. So okay, I could have also replaced this x. Let me just do that now. So let me just replace it with. The delta that was used so you can see so what we are having here is the same thing as what we are having here so by virtue of that that means we are shifting it to the left i just want to establish that why we are shifting it to the left i hope you got the explanation all right so let me just clear this so i haven't analyzed this so let's look at the next one we are having and don't forget, this is just like having one delta, so the amplitude is one. So the second one is 0 0.5 delta n minus one. So that means the amplitude is uh, 0 0.5. I'll still explain what that means. Then for the fact that it is n minus one, that means it is shifted to the to the right by one. So for the third one, we are having two delta n minus two. So for this, the amplitude is two. And then this is also shifted to the right by by two all right so now let's look at it diagrammatically so let's draw it okay so let's call this is zero one two three so we are going to be having one two three then on this side this is going to be less than minus one minus two then for the amplitude, let's take this to be 1, let's take this to be 2. Alright. So, 
since we are dealing with n not t so that means here we are going to be having n exactly and also we are dealing x of n so this is going to be our x of n here x of n all right so now let's represent let's sketch it now so let's start from this so this is delta n plus one like i said we've as i've explained it here that's going to be shifted to the left by one and the amplitude here is one you can see there's nothing before it but you can that's just like we have one so for us to draw this so so that means it's going to be like this so this is one so let's go to the next one this is the next one 0 0.5 is the amplitude and that is n minus 1 that's going to be shifted to the right by 1 with an height with the height of 0 0.5 so by 1 0 0.5 will be somewhere here exactly so if you should trace it like this it should be 0 0.5 for oh, this is for 1 so this will be 0 0.5 then third one is n minus 2 which is shifted to the right by 2 and the amplitude is 2 okay so this is 2 if you should trace it up and this is this is 2 so with this now we've been able to answer this question so it is as simple as this it can be as simple as this so if you are given something like this and you're asked to sketch this sequence so this is how it will look like all right so that is it for this video i hope you find value so if you have any question with respect to what we've just done in this particular video just leave them in the comment section below so thank you very much for watching and then i'll see you all in the next video on signal and system